Well, hi everyone, and welcome to Catching Up and Being Coached by our wonderful Melanie Carroll. Hello, Melanie. Hello, how are you? <laughs> really good, really good. Well, Excellent. Melanie, we are ready for, for today, and as we can all see, we've got a, uh, something to, to get into. So, Melanie, over to you. Lead us and coach us today. Okay, so for the next three sessions, I would like to talk about something called a discovery group. Um, discovery groups are something that are used all around the world um, as a way to come together and look at the Bible um, and there's a set process to go through because these are really simple tools that you can use as a family you could use with one other person that you've been starting to talk to that's showing some interest um, in finding out more about Jesus and what the Bible says you could do with a little group of people who are starting to show some interest. There are certain steps to go through, but it is really simple. And the idea is that you could do it with somebody that has no knowledge of the Bible. It's very simple. It's very relational. puts everybody on, a same, on the level playing field. There's no experts. You stick to one particular text and you're not allowed to drift off and talk about other things. Um, so talk about it for three, three sessions. This first session is just going to look at the first bit that you do when you get together. And so that first section is called ask. So if you could go to the next slide. So there's an ask, a Bible and a commit. So this week we'll just do ask. So you come together as your group and the beauty of discovery Bible groups, sometimes they're called discovery Bible studies, discovery groups is a bit more user friendly for people that are in the harvest. When you come together, you might be at home, you might be when the restrictions lifted, in a park, in a cafe, down by the beach, somewhere where the people are happy together, where you're relaxed, somewhere where you normally chat and have a discussion. You don't need lots of resources. You can do it with things just in your hands. If you just have the Bible on your phone, that would be all you need. Um, so then you ask each other different questions to start. So the very first question, if we could have that slide come up, please. What are you grateful for? And so you would just go around the room and you'd give each person the opportunity to share briefly something that they're grateful for. So Matt, is there something you're grateful for this week? Absolutely. I'm grateful for the ability to walk, walk and walk. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And this week I've been very grateful for the weather that we've had recently and just how beautiful it is when you do get outside to walk and walk. So if you imagine you've got a harvest person in your group, they can share what they're grateful for. And the theory behind the groups is that this eventually, if you keep meeting as groups, this starts to build towards worship for people. You think you can get to talk about who we're grateful to for the things that we're grateful for. If you're not really sure what you're doing, this is an easy question for somebody in a group to answer. Helps everybody feel comfortable. Yes, I've got something I can contribute to this gathering. And then you'd move on to the next question. So if we have the next slide. So the next question that you ask, is there anything that's been a challenge recently? What, what have you been struggling with? And again, you give everybody in the group the opportunity to share briefly. So Matt, is there something that's been a bit of a struggle recently for you? Yes, absolutely. I think I think I finally hit the wall a little bit with uh, Groundhog Day. So uh, oh. I, I felt a little bit like, you know, the days are kind of very similar. <laughs> but yeah. feeling better today. Oh, that's good. That's nice. Yeah, I think for me, um, some motivation has been a bit of an issue. Things like housework and stuff like that, because I can just do it tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> so I'll do something else instead. Um, and there's no fairies coming around doing it for me. So that's yes. a, bit of a bit of a challenge. Um, so again, something that you can share, like we found it really helpful to do this as a family, just sit down, especially with all the COVID stuff and all the lockdowns and the frustrations and gives people a chance just to share how they're feeling. Um, and this will lead on to prayer. So as your group is happy to start praying, you can actually pray with each other. And I've been in a group with people and who aren't are still in the harvest they haven't really made a decision yet but they have prayer modeled to them as they're in the group they hear what it sounds like just pray simple prayers um, for each other um, so dear god please help matt when he's finding life boring and routine and stuck 
Thank you. Amen. Just a really simple prayer like that. And you are modeling, talking to God. We're just talking to God about the things that are on our hearts. So that's our second question. And then if yeah. we can have the next slide. Yeah. Is there anything we can do to help each other or someone we know? So maybe you know that there's a neighbor that's a bit lonely, could do with you getting some shopping for them. You could share that with a group. And these sorts of questions are leading towards mission. So in this first section of our asking, we're leading towards worship and prayer and mission, just with three simple questions that are easy for people to answer and join in with. And in terms of the group dynamics, that helps people settle into the group. They know that they've got stuff they can contribute. They know they're going to be listened to and valued. And so that is our first section. That's our ask section of a discovery group. So you could do it as a family. You could do it like this on a zoom call you could do it on a phone call and you would ask the same questions every time that you get together and so you can have different people lead the group facilitate the group because the questions are always the same and you get to learn what they are um, sometimes people will make up a bookmark or something like that with the different steps for a discovery bible study um, and that can be quite helpful just to jog your memory because yeah, just something, just something simple as a prompt. So if people are interested, I can show them one of those um, later. But yeah, so for this, for this week, they were just the steps. And so maybe as a family, that would be something that you can start doing. Just sit down and ask each other the same questions. Um, kids can do it. They could lead the group. They might enjoy that. Yeah. Um, and that's the first part of a discovery group. Melanie, that's awesome. And, that, and as you're trying, I think one of the things that you're sharing with us, this is so doable. And yeah, anyone could do this. And you're asking for people to be part of it. So Melanie, yeah. we're on a roll. This is exciting. Yeah, it is. <laughs> these, these ideas are definitely, they're supposed to be simple. They're supposed to be ones that's easy for you to teach somebody else. So you can be the coach and you can help somebody to have their own discovery group. You don't have to be there with them. You could maybe model it to them and then they could start their own one. So yeah. nothing technical, very beginner, user-friendly, but there's a real depth to them as well. They're worth, they're worth doing. That's awesome. Melanie, thank you so much for this week's training and coaching. And cool. again, Good. any one of you who would love a chat with Melanie, uh, in motivation with Melanie or encouragement or prayer, please get in touch. She would love that. Yes, definitely. Excellent. All right. Thanks, Melanie. We'll see you okay, next Okay, thank week. you. Yep, we'll do. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye.